Freddie's visiting Adnan's foster parents, Barry and Elaine. Tell us about him. We've just got his lad turned up, who obviously very talented at cricket. So Adnan came to us in March. Couldn't speak a word of English. So I suppose you came from Afghanistan then? Yes. 11 months ago? Yes. How, how, did, that, how did that come to Well, you? what happened was he um, came in the back of a lorry, made his way across from Afghanistan down to Greece, from Greece across in a boat to Italy, and then from Italy he walked, went in, tran in lorries and cars from right up through, from Italy right up into France. What, with a group of lads? Yes, or? a group of other people to Calais. Had no money, couldn't get on a boat to come across. So he went on his own in an empty lorry, found himself in Preston, cut his way out and handed himself into the police station. Oh, I that's not the story I was expecting. I think that Adnan was traumatised when he first came here. He couldn't speak a word of English. He'd spent the night in a police cell in a country that he had no idea where he was. Um, and he was terrified. For him, life was pretty rubbish in Afghanistan. When I came there in Preston, I was really scared in that time. Just sat in my bedroom. I was very quiet. I couldn't speak one word of English. Everything new for me in that time. Because of his lack of education and because he had no knowledge of the outside world, he had no idea that our world existed. When I grew up in Afghanistan, there are no electricity, no technology. When I came to England, I watched, uh, like, uh, electricity. I said, oh, what is this? He kind of sat here for two weeks just watching telly. And then one day, Barry said, football? He went, no, no, no football. And Barry went, cricket? Went, cricket, cricket. Really? He got his eyes lit up? Yeah. Barry has a driving net up in the back garden for his golf. I went out and <laughs> Adnan was bowling a golf ball into the net. Now, I know very little about cricket, but I thought, this boy must have had some coaching. But when you ask him, he will tell you, nobody has ever taught me how to play. I have just played in the yard. That is how I have learned to bowl properly.